when getting hurt in today's pursuit, but we know that is not always the case. Now, sometimes this is the result. A misdemeanor covered license plate set off a police pursuit during rush hour that ended with this scene. And so that crash killed a woman and left her friend in a coma. But a WCNC Charlotte investigation found they are not the only innocent bystanders hurt or killed during police pursuits. Far from it. In fact, in our first year of the pandemic, a record number of bystanders lost their lives, at least 214. WCNC Charlotte's Nate Morbido seeking solutions tonight. Black UK in your model. Choose your battles. I'm at State At the heart of consideration. Before officers escalate a traffic stop. We're still going. Is this pursuit worth it? Their choice in the moment. Hey, come on, get to Julia. Pursue a driver. We got him. He's still uh, wrong way. Or just let them go. The law gives police discretion to decide which is better for our protection. Just about hit two cars head on, crossed over to the right side of the road. Blurring the lines of public safety. You were dead in that area, and that's how they kept saying. He said, we waited so long for this day. As life. Hey, Dad. And death. 75 miles an hour, wrong side of travel, wrong way. Hang in the balance. 1050, 1050, big 1050. An attempted CMPD traffic stop during the evening commute earlier this year. Fire left Aaron Norwood fighting for his life. They had an upright on me for five hours straight. And Brittany Webb's family battling the silence to make sure the young mother's story is told. Because it's important for people to know what happened to her. A WCNC Charlotte analysis of federal data found Brittany is among at least 4,200 innocent people. You can't bring your family back. Killed over the last four decades. How could this happen? In connection to police pursuits. Everything about her is going to be deeply missed. We got a 1050. Several of those victims lived. She had a great big smile. And died in the Charlotte area and Carolinas. I won't see her again. I won't ever see her again. Also killed during that time. More than 9,300 people inside chase cars and 130 in police cruisers. Our review of federal pursuit data found the number of reported bystander deaths alone has more than tripled since 1982. 2022 started with more preventable deaths. Um, I was excited. As Aaron, Brittany, and a friend drove to the hospital to visit Aaron's newborn daughter, Zaley, Two Charlotte Mecklenburg police officers tried multiple times to stop a black man driving a Jeep with a covered but still visible license plate. They said the driver eventually sped up and drove into the wrong lane, at which point police disengaged for the last time. The result? This crash. The disregard for people I have is sad. Can you roll from Aaron, not wearing a seatbelt, didn't wake up for a month. And she had two beautiful children, too. Brittany also unbuckled, spent weeks on life support just across the hall. She tried to give her her, her punches, but the punches weren't strong enough for her to prevail. Her younger daughter had a Mother's Day event that I know she would have been at, but instead I was there. So that was really, really hard. Just a week after this crash, another innocent person died. This time, CMPD tried to pull over a teen driving more than 50 miles over the speed limit. Officers said they disengaged before he eventually slammed into Mickey Brown. Two innocent deaths in as many weeks. Police charged both drivers with murder, but that diminishes their involvement. We're all human beings. Uh, it would be unrealistic to think that in these high stress situations, that the right decision is always made. The public expects you all to make the right decision every time. They do. They do. This is a difficult job. CMPD since tightened up its pursuit policy, making it slightly more restrictive. But Lieutenant Steve Fishback says not in response to any specific case. We want to make sure that when officers are engaging, initiating and engaging in a pursuit, that it is for crimes that are dangerous to life. WCNC Charlotte's analysis of department records shows the number of pursuits has more than quadrupled over the last decade.
Most started with violent crimes, but some began with traffic violations. There is a need, an expectation, that we apprehend these people who are preying on our community members. Okay, but I'm going to correct you. They're not all violent. And in those cases where a pursuit is not taking place for a pursuable offense, per our directive, those officers are going to be held accountable. Lieutenant Fishback says supervisors monitor pursuits in real time, and CMPD scrutinizes them internally as well. Sometimes poor judgment leads to innocent death. Our officers took this job to save lives. And so any loss of life in the community is felt by all of us. In 2012, um, my life changed. Esther Sewanis' husband died an innocent victim in Texas. She's with Pursuit Safety. We're talking about thousands of lives that could be saved because they didn't pursue. The nonprofit tracks deadly pursuits and believes police should only give chase when a violent felony is involved. We would like to minimize unnecessary pursuits. An area where CMPD could improve. I would welcome that feedback. You know, the CMPD is constantly trying to improve. In the meantime, Brittany's family. There's a space missing. Faced with a battle they did not choose. I just told my daughter from my heart, I'm going to fight for you. Is fighting back. Remember Zaylee. Aaron. You doing this for Zaylee. Grateful he walked what? away with a second chance. This is one person that I can't let down. Is fighting too for his daughter. I think she's gonna be a boxer though. <laughs> Cause she definitely knows how to hold her hands already. And she's fighting for him. CMPD wouldn't talk specifically about this case, but personnel records show in the weeks after the crash, the agency suspended the two officers involved without pay for at least 15 days. Nate Morabito, WCNC Charlotte.